Hey everybody, it's Jennifer. I'm just on a little away uh, time with Ron. Ron has a meeting. So I am uh, just bouncing around here. I tried to do a little dramatic eye look and I had to kind of wash some of it off because I think I lost my touch. But anyway, uh, I don't have any makeup on except for mascara and I have some eyeshadow on, which you should have seen. I really should have taken a picture of what it looked like about five minutes ago. So who is on to say hello? I am going to um, show you what the Flawless 4 is all about, okay? So your Flawless 4 always starts out with a primer because if you don't prime, well, hello, oh, oh. <laughs> sexy, <laughs> most flesh. That's funny, I'm gonna use that on Ronnie when I see him tonight. <laughs> okay, so oh, all, the, all these compliments. Oh, hi, Robin, how are you? Hi, everybody. So. This sale, hi Glennis, hi. Um, this sale only happens once a year. I mean, why aren't you just running? Cause, hey Jen, how are ya? Cause like this stuff doesn't go on sale, okay? And it's all there, hi Vicky. So, like I said, I just have my face, hi Joyce. So I'm gonna prime, so priming comes with it of course, then you liquid gold in a bottle, okay? And then, once you've covered all your stuff, then you can use this on anything that didn't get covered. Plus, uh, if you buy a shade exactly the same as your foundation, you're gonna get complete coverage, okay? Oh, you did awesome. It's great, isn't it? Hi, Wendy. I'm so glad you're catching me live when I'm, on, when I'm live. <laughs> so, what I like to do for mine is, I like to cover with my liquid gold, then I go in with a shade or two lighter. This is one shade lighter, so then I'm just gonna do some highlighting, okay? Can you tell I've been on vacation? Like, I, I even like, oh, I feel more relaxed. I needed the break. Um, the hustle and the bustle got to me. So now, this, this, this is the point of the kudos where you, as the consumer, get to make a choice. So you get to either purchase and pick a spray, which I love the spray, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm glad. Or you get the powder. I love this deal. It's my favorite. I, yeah. Yeah, I know. And mine, mine hasn't arrived yet, you know. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Yeah, thanks, Joyce, because I do, I do feel rested. In fact, I was here for a couple of hours, and I don't know if you can see where I've been laying. Like one pillow. One pillow, and I, I ate all the junk except for a tiny bit of the... There's a few chips left. Did you see the what I had purchased down at the uh, at the front desk? The, the restaurant's not open until five. I was like, what? But I can make coffee. I got a coffee machine here, or I can go downstairs and make coffee. I'm thinking I may not want to leave. I like I like hotels. <laughs> okay, so I hope everyone's having a good day. Cause you're gonna get to see put on prime. Get me. You're gonna watch me put on primer yet again. This is only what the seventh or the eighth of the month. And um, I, I'll never get tired of the of the Flawless Four because basically I, I put it on every day anyway, except for the days that I wear my BB cream, which you don't have to, so that you don't have to floss. <laughs> you don't have to prime before BB cream. Some people do like it though. Yeah, I'm in Fredericton, yeah. Okay, so you just need a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. Now typically, um, if you put too much primer on, it takes quite a while to dry. We don't have that kind of time today. Um, but if you're home and you just put the appropriate amount on, leave it set for at least three to five minutes, if possible. Because what that will do is it will literally form a barrier between your skin and the makeup that you're about to put on. You use a heck of a lot less. Uh, that being said, it is, Joyce, I had no idea. That's good to know. That's nice. Like if you put too much on, it's too slippery, you know, and it's just overkill and it's a waste of money. I didn't know that you lived in, that you were from Fredericton. I love Fredericton. Okay, so now I'm gonna, look at this crazy wave. Oh, you, you can have naturally curly hair for only so many days and it just says, no, I decide I'm going to be curly. <laughs> so I debated on whether I should jump in the shower and wash my hair. Um. I don't know. Obviously, I made the choice to do my makeup first. 
so I might have to like be really careful when I wash my hair. So I'm just gonna squeeze out everything that's in the dropper. This liquid gold is water-based foundation. So like it will separate. Um, there's a lot of minerals that, that if you don't take advantage of of them, there, you know, it's not going to uh, to lay right on your skin either. So, and I had forgotten my makeup um, brush cleaner. So I had to give my little brush a little wash before. That's another reason why I was a little bit later. Okay, so this is the Liquid Touch Foundation Brush. This is a different brush because, um, you know, the full Flawless 4 Plus has a Kabuki brush that goes with it. So that is a different brush altogether. But if you have a Kabuki brush already, if you put too much on, you can swipe it off. Your yeah. Okay, well, that's good to know because um, I find it's uh, it's very similar to... I'll show you the product that I'm talking about too in just a sec. I don't know if you guys know, but I do hair. <laughs> and Silk Serum Smooth and Shine. I get this from Greg Lund. He works for he owns Excel Beauty in Moncton. And it's very similar. It's very kind of goopy loopy. Very similar feel to, to the primer. So, and it is good in the hair. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to go, I'm going to go with two drops since I'm, maybe I'll go, maybe I'll go more. don't know. Oh, gracious drop. Here. Okay. So I'm going to just dot it on. I'm using the shade Organza. And the stick foundations that I ordered, they're not in yet. I wish I had them in my possession because I would be using them. All pretty much the lighter shades have sold out, like the very lightest, like Scarlet, Organza, Tool, and Lace. Those are the lighter ones. So anyone that had put their name down for, because I basically, I mostly just had to get Organza for everyone. I got yours ordered, so... We are good. I went in yesterday and spent, a, well, probably most of the full hour. Uh, I was having some issues with my website and I could not purchase. I had four scarlet sticks in my in my cart. And when every time I went to press like the cart to, to purchase, the cart would disappear. So I wanted to get a scarlet just for myself to use as a highlight. Um, but what I did end up going in and getting, that was this was quite late in the evening last night, was uh, a taffeta. So what I, my plan is, is to use the organza stick and then maybe the taffeta to do some, some contouring. So it's a beautiful day here. The sun is shining. In fact, I was in front of the window and I was glowing like you wouldn't believe. So I'm just going to move your comments for one sec just to make sure I go to blend it in. Do you like my earrings? I got these from my friend Sherry. Sherry Lang Tang. And I make, I always, um, I'm trying to make a, an effort to wear earrings because as you can see, I've got so much hair. Like who sees my ears? <laughs> but it's kind of, it's nice to have some earrings. So you can see my face. Um, any issue that I kind of had, it's covered. And what I did was basically just do swirls, okay? That's easy peasy. It's easy to color match. Um, what you have to remember, like back in my day, you would never have thought to like try to match your neck. You would have been like, what? That's crazy. But you don't want to have like a really white neck and a red and an orangey brown face, right? You have to or we call it like a gravy line. You don't wanna see, you just wanna have a blended. So I'm actually, these days, a little bit more pink than neutral. Like I, I like to think that I'm more neutral because I have a yellow neck. I have yellow and pink undertones, but certain times of the year I can get away with going with organza and organza is a pink undertoned kind of foundation. So it matches pretty good. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this concealer and I have like it just a couple of spots or they're not bad at all. I'm going to take my, I'm going to take this beauty bud and 
my powder. So these, uh, these are the next two components that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna wet my bud because I, I forgot to do that. Just a second. Should have seen the hotel room that we were in. And well, maybe you did because <laughs> when I was in Quebec, there was four of us and there wasn't like an inch in that room that was clear. <laughs> It was full of everything. Okay, I'm gonna put the com comments back. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna use a smidge. Okay, that's even that's probably way too much, but I'm gonna put it in a few different places. So I'm gonna put it underneath my eye because I wanna have some brightness. Now, if you're gonna be putting it right up underneath underneath your eye like that, I would definitely suggest using your finger or doing something like this where it just kind of warms it up a little bit. Put it on the back of your hand or apply it with a brush, but you just wanna use very, very delicate, um, hi, Joan, delicate um, taps, okay? So, I'm just gonna put a bit more there. How is it going? I'm really having a fantastic week. <laughs> now when we get back, I have to um, finish cleaning out the laundry room. And all my clients that come to see me next week are gonna say, wow, it's like a brand new shop. There's gonna be nothing new, like the walls aren't painted yet and the floor is not changed yet, but rearrange some things and the month of February and into March usually is when I start to really notice about all the things that need to be done. Cause it's a slower time of year for me. So, okay, so I'm gonna do a little tap right there on the top of my nose and right there. Max and Teddy have to get their hair done on Monday. So I have to be in Nelson on Monday at 8 a.m. I'm gonna put a little bit of tapping right there and then I'll be working, I think I'll be working Monday to Saturday <laughs> to make up for the time away, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, a little bit more. Um, like I said, this stuff is so versatile. I've been, yes, Joan, I am, yeah. Um, the, it's so, so versatile because you can really, if you have issues that you really need to cover, this is your best friend, I'm telling you. In conjunction with the liquid gold, it's, it's really something. Oh, really? That's neat. Your doggy's so cute. Okay, so I could really go on more with that, but I think I'll leave it, I think. Okay, so now I'm gonna just take my little beauty bud that's dampened, and I'm gonna grab some of this translucent powder and just bake like underneath my eyes. Uh, they call it baking basically because you just want to ensure you get no creasing whatsoever. Um, our uh, concealer is even wonderful for like using underneath your uh, eyebrow bone. Like I don't know if I did it already when I was on, I can't remember. You can put it underneath your eyebrow bone to lift it. I might just have to, I might just do it again because I don't remember if I did. Um, and when you do put it on your eyelid as a base, uh, you can set it with powder because then it will, it will stop it from creasing. Okay, creasing's bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab my, my brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my whole face. What about my, what about my hair? <laughs> You'll have, I'll have to contact you when I get back. <laughs> I haven't done my hair all week either. <laughs> okay, so this is a wonderful powder. You can have a full face of makeup on and exercise, and it's not going anywhere. Use these tricks for... These are really... Yeah, they, this really will help prevent creasing because you can, you can get it. Sometimes if I'm not paying attention, like I can get like a crease underneath here, you know? It sets it really well. Okay, let's do a little bit of bronzing. Look at this fabulous hair. 
<laughs> it needs, next time you see it, it's gonna be curly. I'm gonna wash it, leave it dry natural. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna use my beachfront bronzer in the color Sunset. This is the latest one, creasing, yes. And then I'm just gonna squeeze my, my blush brush. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think so. You have none. Bev doesn't have any. We'll call it we'll call it creasing. <laughs> w words. What? Okay, so I'm just gonna go in here. I just grabbed things like a crazy woman this morning. So let's do some three E and E on this side. <laughs> I don't even know what I brought. Ooh, but I know I did bring this. My upper lip looks silly, doesn't it? Benevolent. Yahoo. Okay, let's do a little highlight. And I'm going to do a little bit of beachfront bronzer on either side of my nose. That really, really helps if you want to narrow your nose a little bit. Nothing wrong with my nose. It works just fine. I just want to, you know. <laughs> the stick is fun to use. I'll do that too. And I'll do that too. You slap it on everywhere. No, my kids are not with me. <laughs> but, you know, I do miss them. Um, Owen and I played probably about four or five games of chess last night. So I know what I'm doing tomorrow night when I get home. I'll be playing chess. And... Also putting stuff away. I should have, Bev, I should have taken a picture of my laundry room and my hallway because I, I sent a picture of it last week when it was clean. And when Ronnie, when I was away, he emptied my laundry room. <laughs> Second home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways, he, he emptied my laundry room, which I he had to. And he emptied the other part of the basement, which he had to. Because, you know, before you clean something, it's got to look bad, right? Well, I had a client uh, pop in, a friend of mine yesterday, pop in to pick up her gift certificate that she won. And, well, of course, I didn't think anyone was, was coming. And the side door was open and she came down. I don't even know how she didn't break her neck. Because there wasn't a space on the floor that was not covered in, like, barrels of things. It's like the show. It's like the show while you were away. Oh my gosh. But while I was away, he does this every time. And I even told Claudine, I can't wait to tell Claudine. Because she said, what are you going to do? Like tomorrow, like the day that you get home. And I said, well, if memory serves me correctly, I will be cleaning and putting things away. So I truly was not very, I wasn't very surprised. But, but, um, so when we get back, I have to clean that whole hallway because it is crazy. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what kind of lipstick I want to put on. And I think I might just touch up my shadow that I kind of schmutzied right there. But before, like you knew my shop, Bev, my shop was clean. So the shop looks techni technically pretty good. Um, but to get into the shop is another story. Okay, so I'm just going to fix just right in through here gonna use I'm still using palette number two this is one that I had taken away to Quebec with me so pretty much I hardly unpacked I just took the dirty clothes out and then and I picked um, a smaller bag of course just all my toiletries went from one bag to another okay so I just want to make this look a little bit more dramatic so I'm just gonna drag that up a little bit Any of you girls have Spotify on your phone? Um, I got set up for it for a family family one. I don't know. I'm hoping. I got it to play, but it seems like it's only letting me play like three. Hello, didn't have a problem. Oh, Irene's the girl that was in the basement with me yesterday. <laughs> Poor Irene. Oh my gosh. And then when I went down, she came to, after that she came to the side door, then I went down and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about the mess. It was messy. 
so like I have to figure out my Spotify I have to we're selling our um, exercise bike to get that sold because all it did was stare at me every time I walked by it and it was giving me very dirty looks so I think it needs to go away <laughs> and then once the Sun get stronger and the roads are safer to walk on I might start I just might start going for walks okay let's see yeah there's a lovely table here what is Spotify it's like um it's kind of like YouTube for music only and and we Leslie signed us all up we all I mean, Ronnie and uh, Leslie and Owen both had it. And then if you sign up, you can get up, up to four people. It's like Netflix. You can get four, four people subscribed. And it's way cheaper. What color am I using? I'm using palette number two. And I had already done my, pretty much the eye look with the base coat of romantic, of course. Because, you know, I'm on a romantic trip. And I used Honorable, which is a nice kind of mushroomy, kind of a light mushroom brown, taupey brown. And then I put Cocky, crazy name, here. And I was just seeing, I don't think I have a dip and draw with me. So I'm just going to use our little eyeliner brush. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it back in this color right here, this darker one. And I'm going to go underneath. Now, since the um, Flawless 4 has a primer in the bundle, it's great because I can go in with this color right away. These shadows don't have primer in them already like the splurges do and like the pressed shadows do. So as long as you're using a primer, I specifically today used an eye primer because I just kind of wanted them to pop a little bit more. Eye primer does a couple of things. It makes, okay, Bev, talk to you later. It, it'll make your colors pop and it'll also keep them from sliding around, especially if you're working in a hot environment or you're just plain working, you know, and you want to make sure your makeup stays on. It's good. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to try with Sublime because my, I don't know, I might change my mind. Sublime is one of our really light nudes. I had pink on this week. I don't think I wore this one yet. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way out. They call this like a really pale pink. On me, it's a little bit peachy, which I don't mind. Especially if I'm wearing something really dark. I was going to try to remember to bring, thank you. I was going to try to remember to bring a uh, lip liner. Oh my gracious. I've owned this for a while and actually I've owned this since last June. And look, I'm just remembering to take the, t <laughs> take the cellophane off. Okay. So I'm just going to be able to see. Um. So I'm just going to make an X this side. You should see how many cute little kids are here. I don't know, like obviously March break, eh? I've got my bathing suit. Ron didn't bring his, but... I have time if I want to go swimming. I should say float, because I don't want to swim. <laughs> That's too much like exercise. Oh my God, I'm complaining today about exercise. But my plan is to start. Okay, so I would like to put some blush on. Let's see, did I bring any? Yes, I did. Can't believe I didn't forget anything today. I am gonna go in with some more um, um, mascara though. I would really like to bring the blush up into the highlight. It's really, really pretty to do that. There's so many beautiful blushes now. I love them. Okay. 
So a little bit more mascara. And I'll take my picture. I should have taken a before shot. So remember, if you're going to be wearing a really, really bold eye like this, go with something really light on your lips. I mean, unless you're, you know, there's some times where bold and bold is fine. But I'm going to be hanging around the hotel, so I don't want people to start staring at me. <laughs> They'll be like, where is she going? She's going to the pool with face like that? But I told this story before, though, when all of us unique presenters that earned the incentive trip to Mexico last year, every last one of us had a face full of makeup. And we were hanging around at the pool, and it was like we were walking advertisements because the stuff didn't move off our face. Which was kind of neat. Okay. So there we go. Just going to set that with... Just a little bit more powder. You can even set your lips. Okay. Let's see if we can get that on or not. If you can see. Okay, so the highlight went there. The blush up into the highlight just a little bit. I put a little bit of that concealer just on the top part of my lip just to add a little bit of like poutiness because I don't have much there. I could have gone with a little bit of bronzer on the, on the bottom to bring it out. But if you just play around with the light, you know, where you need to put the light and the dark, it really will make your face look flimmer. Okay, so that is my look for today. I'll just show you the products I used super fast. So the Flawless 4 is selling like hotcakes. Um, I know mo like most of the, the sticks were sold out for the very, very light shades but there's all kinds of this. Aw, thanks. Thank you so much. Okay, so I need one more product and it's here. Okay, so you start out of course with primer, then you go with this, then you highlight with this or you cover up whichever you need and you set it with this. You can also go with spray. I do have that here too. Let me see, it's probably still in the box. Yeah, it must have just fallen in the box, or fallen off. But it's like a, you've seen me do it before. Also, there's one more thing I wanted to, and I don't even think that Crystal is on, my friend Crystal. But when we were away, if she gets to see this, she was one of the gals that um, is uh, in with, unique with me, and she sent me a beautiful little card and a little flamingo, pink flamingo. That was kind of our little, um, Kind of our mascot, mascot kind of thing. <laughs> like we were like little flamingos on the beach. So I thought that was so cute. So I'm going to keep that forever. Okay, so I'm off. Have a fantastic day. And I hope that you guys, uh, it's not Friday yet, but it feels like it's Friday for me and I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, so have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share. And if you need to be color matched, it's super, super easy. Just takes a couple of seconds and we can get that kudos in your hand. Flawless four, baby. Go get it. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.